What's going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve and this is Maple and Honey. Having out my lunch today. Um, felt like some burgers. I saw, uh, went and grabbed some Double Double from In-N-Out. Some fries, animal style fries. And we'll try that out. And I thought um, we'll try out E.H. Taylor Jr. small batch. So we'll open up a new bottle. It's my old backup bottle. Um, so we'll open that up and we'll try it together. So it's, uh, it's about 12... 36 haven't had breakfast i usually don't have breakfast um, but i haven't had lunch had a light dinner last night um, so we'll try some of this burger and um this h tail let's open this guy up the good thing about well fancy thing about h taylor well all the h taylors taylors and then it comes in nice little barrels, and people love that. I think that's what people get um, excited about as well. The, the bottle itself is pretty vanilla, right? I mean, it's just a regular bottle with a long neck. Um, so yeah, let's pour this guy. I brought out a uh, regular, just a glass, not a Glencairn, uh, and another glass with ice. So we'll try it out neat. And then when I'm having the burger, if I feel like having some ice in there, uh, you know, to sort of wash it down, um, We'll, we'll try it with the ice as well. So, here we go. That's good. Oh. Smells good. All right. This guy right over here. Okay. Here we go. Well, a couple things about E.H. Taylor, I'm sure many of you know, it's from Buffalo Trace, um, the distillery that makes, you know, all the other, you know, Buffalo Trace, like, you know, Eagle Rares or, or Buffalo Trace bourbons or, you know, the Pappies or Wellers. Has a very sweet profile um, and easy to drink. So it's, the proof is about 50%, yeah, 50, a bottled in bond, so it's 50%, 100%, 100 proof. Um, and it's very, very good. There's a reason why people love this whiskey. It's very tasty, very sweet. It's not super complex, but it, it you know, the, the sweetness and the medium bodiedness, it really does it really well. So, right away, cotton candy. I smell it every time. Cotton candy. Like, you go to a fair and you pick up that cotton candy, they hand it to you right off that little swirling thing. Cotton candy right here. Uh, vanilla. Not much woody or oakiness. Cotton candy all day, baby. Cotton candy all day. Cheers. Oh, so sweet. It's so sweet. It's very sweet. Like a maple syrup. Cotton candy sort of transfers. Not really. A little bit. The smell has a cotton candy smell of it a lot. But on the taste, uh, it's even sweeter. Like vanilla, maple syrup all combined together, sprinkled with some sugar on top. Yeah. No bitterness whatsoever. Slight oakiness towards the end, but not bitter. It's like sweet oak. Um, it has a medium body, as I mentioned before. It's not too thick. But it's not light at all, it still sort of lingers on too. Very lightly. Easy to drink. Um, it's right at the proof point where it's not too light. It's not like 80, 80, 80 proof, uh, but it's not like 120 proof where it's, you know, it's punch, punching you in the face. Right at the 100 proof, uh, proof uh, mark. Let's go for it again, it's good. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, just vanilla bomb all day. A lot of vanilla, a lot of uh, caramel and and maple syrup, sugariness, not much fruitiness in there. No no, uh, no fruits that I detect. Um, again, a little bit of oakiness coming towards the end. So again, there's a reason why people love this. They look at, I mean, people are crazy for this bottle, right? I mean. 
if someone finds out that they're selling this it's at, the, at a certain store, it goes out within minutes. It doesn't matter if the price tag is, you know, over MSRP, it's, it's so popular. I, I agree. Uh, some people say, oh, it's not that great. No, I, I think it's, it's a great bourbon. Uh, I think it's a great whiskey. Uh, tastes good, smells good, has a, you know, decent finish to it. It's sweet, has all the right notes of a bourbon high quality bourbon, nothing wrong about it at all. But if you gotta grab a, uh, if you have a chance to uh, grab it, I say you do it. Cheers again. So good. All right, so I got some internet out here, but I like some cheeseburger. And a friend of mine told me, um, you know, he really likes having like a really a thick cheeseburger with uh, each Taylor, so each Taylor. Um, so I thought I'd try it out. So here we go. There's a double double uh, with onions, extra tomatoes with chili peppers in it, um, and the animal style fries with chilies on top, extra good with onions. All right, hope you're, I hope you have a good lunch as well. Try a little of the fries. You know, if you haven't tried the you know, burgers with chilies in there, and if you like a little kick, you gotta try it. it it's a it's a nine day difference. So the, the crunchiness of the chili and the spiciness is spot on. All right, let's try with the yeast tether. Mm. Goes down easy. It is good with Taylor. I'm sure it's good with a lot of whiskeys. Thank you. Like if you go to a lot of burger places, sometimes like they have a full bar, right? Like off the top of my head, maybe Red Robin or like Island or some other gourmet, like expensive burger places. And you could have it with them with whiskey, if you want it. And I've seen people do it. A friend of mine I mentioned, he loves, he loves whiskey with like cheeseburger, like a really gooey cheeseburger, like a meaty cheeseburger. And I can see why, it's good. It doesn't really have that, you know, that Coke or Sprite effect where you just wash it down, but it's sort of, melts with the bread and the meat and and um, sort of transforms the taste a little bit mm. it's really good cheers let's try it with a little bit of ice got the um uh, what do you call it uh, spear ice in here hmm it's difficult huh?
Interesting. Brings out more of the, the woodiness when I drink it with ice. I don't know why. I thought it would go the other way, like it would breathe. It would make other flavors come out more and tone down the woodiness or the alcohol, but not really. Tastes like sort of like a toasted bread now. Toasted, like a sweet toasted bread. You buttered it with um, sweet butter. That's how it tastes like. Like ground crackers, like a toasted ground crackers. It's good, different. I feel like I'm drinking another bourbon. All right, let's try with this. Hmm. No. People in California or like Nevada or Oregon, even. We should be thankful because we have access to in and out readily, right? Not only the East Coast and the Middle East, Midwest, you know, there's no in and out. I don't think there is. So, and people love this stuff. I love it too. I could have this multiple times during the week. Think about each Taylor though, a couple things. The small batch is the most common one, right? The one that people usually drink. It's the most affordable one too, but not a lot of people know that it had they have a bunch of other each tailors. We got they got a barrel proof right, which is like hundreds of dollars. You can't even find it. Even if you do, it's like thousand bucks. I, I remember a liquor store had it, so I got a window. It's like give it a call, give the guy a call, and he said, "Here, yeah, I'm keeping it for myself, but if you really want it, I'll let it go for a thousand bucks." I'm like, no, it's not worth. it. But supposedly he got rid of it for a thousand bucks. So I mean, good for him. But the the craziest, the the hype for this um, this brand is just is insane. And there's like ten different kinds of yeast tailors. Um, there's that again barrel proof. There's like four grains. There's like a warehouse something. I don't even know. But there's all kinds of uh, yeast tailors that are much harder to get than, than the small batch, which is most common, so. So yeah, you don't even see them. Oh, I do have the the rye, East Taylor rye back there, which I have never tried. I'll probably open up, open that guy up sometime um, later on, but on a special occasion, but for the most part, you don't even see it. Like it, it's so heavily allocated, uh, very limited quality and quantities, and so many people want them so badly, and and they're willing to pay so much money for it. So, I mean, I'm happy to just have or just enjoy the small batch. It's good. It tastes like cotton candy. It tastes like vanilla and, and caramel and a maple maple syrup, which is, I mean, what what else can I want for, from a bourbon? Uh, yeah, and people love it. Like you, people, you have people over for some, you know, you know, for drinks, and you, you know, you bust that out. You know, everyone loves it. So that's why. <sighs> Yummy. Hmm. A cheeseburger, some good bourbon. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. I mean, E.H. Taylor, again, everyone knows how good it is. Solid product, um, worth 40, 50, 60, maybe even 70 bucks. Who knows? If I see it for 60 bucks and I'm out of it, I might pick it up. 70 bucks maybe too. But you know, uh, I think some of the places are charging it again, like 150 bucks, 200 bucks, which is way too much. I think that's even, that's like shameful, I think. You know, people who enjoy this, they can't enjoy it because they're just priced out. It, it, it's just, 
it's just sad. Um, it makes me sad. I mean, uh, so. Uh, but if you get a chance, pick this bottle up for you know MS closest you can to a MSRP if you if you can. And if you have a chance to have it with the burger, it doesn't have to be in and out. But if you do have it in and out, have it with in and out. Um, you know, try it. Animal fry is always good. Make sure to put some chili peppers on top. It has a little kick to it. it makes it, you know, it takes it to another level. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. So I enjoy, I certainly enjoyed it. Um, definitely recommend it. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much. If you get a chance, hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any comments, if you disagree, let me know and, and uh, I'll try to respond as much as possible. Um, I go through them as much as I can as well. So appreciate it, everyone. Thanks so much. Hope you have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.